What is up everybody? Welcome back. This video I'm going to let y'all behind the scenes a little bit. I'm going to take and kind of show y'all some of the stuff I have to deal with on a daily. Um, man, it, it's... I love taking and doing reactions. I love taking and doing... Creating content, doing YouTube. Which... I've got... Scripts right here for more... Uh, skits so I do have more of those coming at some point in time down the pipeline um, but I'm gonna kind of show y'all a little bit of what I'm dealing with one out of 24 copyright claims this one's for dad's army episode 2 full episode reaction I fought blocks on rising damp episode 2 four times since it's been released uh this is an old video some odd savage and see that didn't come in until december 6th yeah see there's an, there's another one for rising damp another one for rising damp bottom season one episode three copyright owner claims some of your content i had to take and put that if i'm not mistaken on daily motion um yeah season one episode three bottom Rising Damp Season 1, Episode 1. Like, these are all the things I've fought. Faulty Towers. Because I tried putting that on there. You know, I tried putting the full episode reaction on there, I should say. And it's still... Snatch Movie Reaction. Like, these are all... This is all the stuff I've disputed. Because... With the way I take and do these reactions, especially with the ones that I've taken and actually cut down to where you see a bit of the video and then you see my actual commentary or reaction, you know, genuine reaction to it. And then the commentary at the end where I take and talk about what I've watched. This is all the stuff that you know, live reactions. See this November 17th. And that was from, Jesus Christ, that live stream was from last year. That live reactions was from last year. And I just got another copyright claim on one of the videos that was shown in that November 17th. There's no expiration date on these things. So at any point in time, anything I've reacted to, if they want to, they can strike. So... Good and Evil. See, that's another song. That was last year I reacted to that song. Animated History of Ireland. So, I'm going to take and come over here and I'm going to show you all. Let's see. Content. So, these two, especially the, especially the Verdance thing with the win, able to take and actually have that monetized. Dad's Army, this, we'll take and go to see details. Blocked in some territories, United Kingdom. See that? So it's technically is territorially blocked. You're not supposed to be able to see it in the United Kingdom. I've disputed this. All right, so if you see a weird jump cut real quick, it's because my kid come in. I had to go plug some in for real quick. So yeah, and this is the... And with this video, the contents found 1426, 1709. So just under three minutes worth. Well, if you were just we were uh, falling in three it, neat rows, you know. I guarantee you I'll stop it. I'll be off then, Mr. Manor. At some Thank point in time in here. Uh, hmm? Don't be late tonight. Don't be late tonight. And actually <laughs> say something. Hey, everybody. All right. I'll be here. Oh, he got married again. Be quiet in the round. Yes, sir. He's trying to get them all uh, up in the military. So it's just, <laughs> actually, it's just outside of that that I say Be something. So I've taken, I paused, I had this, I let this run long enough for me to actually see a, a little bit of what's going on before making a comment. This is what's claimed. This is the third claim, uh, or this, I say the third claim. This is the part that's claimed, I've already disputed. Now I do have a lot of these that I've got. I've been able to take and actually, thankfully, monetize. Faulty Towers, I knew that was going to be ineligible. 
this was ineligible. The Rising Damp. Luckily, the the second episode of Rising Damp. I had just I had enough commentary in between, so that's one of the reasons why going forward, whenever you see me taking pauses more often than what I might normally do for these full reactions, that's the reason why. So I can take and get past these copyright claims, or because uh, this these two were originally blocked. The faulty towers, this as little as what's in here was blocked. Like this was completely I couldn't even. monetizing some territories but this was terror this was blocked worldwide i disputed it and it's monetized in some territories but those territories it's it's monetized for the bbc it's not monetized for me at all which is fine i that's part of the thing doing reactions that you 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 kind of got had the mindset for not being able to monetize a whole whole lot what you can monetize <laughs> monetize it otherwise you're not going to take and you're not going to be able to take and monetize a whole lot see the whole the rising damp season one episode one faulty towers like that there is quite a bit of this because it's on oh wow i think that's yeah that's for me taking and announcing where to go find it but bottom live like that's not something that was put on there by bbc or anything like that just a regular channel's got it um Open all hours. Open all hours is on um, YouTube, so um, most of that I'm able to take and monetize. Like it ain't half hot, mum. This reaction, like I made sure there was enough commentary on it to take and fit within the fair use standard. Uh, like there's a lot of stuff I've got to take and fight against. This right here was initially blocked. It stayed. I fought blocks on this for like three days before they released them before they released most of them like i've still got one block on it and you can see it's in dispute and this i tried putting on i had to take a mind up putting on this is just the announcement for the yellowstone season four episode one i haven't even reacted to the rest of the episodes i tried putting that on daily motion and daily motion sent me a takedown notice on that one too i Lee Evans, anything Lee Evans that y'all asked me to take? There's a reason why the only Lee Evans I've got is in the Bohemian Rhapsody video. It's because Lee Evans, everything is automatically blocked. It doesn't matter. And even trying to take and put it up on Daily Motion, it's automatically blocked. So, Front Yard's in. Animated History, copyright claim. I completely get that. I don't even, I didn't even try to take and monetize this. This I didn't try to monetize either. But I still got a claim, which is fine. It's originally their content. Even with me, they, they see it as even with me taking and putting in and taking and giving commentary on what I'm seeing. Um, yeah, it doesn't matter. There's a lot of stuff I know better than to even try to take and monetize. Like, But if I, if I give enough commentary and critique throughout on what I'm watching... Number one, it changes. Not only am I given the commentary, so you're getting the pauses, you're getting commentary, you're getting critiques throughout it on what I'm seeing, correlations to what I know in in real life and stuff like that. So not only are you getting that, but at that point, you're also changing the original viewing, the, the, the original intent for viewing. Sorry about that. The original intent for viewing of that video which trans which at that point transforms the video from how it's originally supposed to be viewed so right there that gives me two two things within the fair use standard where I, I meet the fair use standard that's basically it you, fair use standard is you can't use somebody else's copy uh, you can't use somebody else's material unless for purposes of uh, commentary critique or um, transformation of video to something else I do both of those with most of mine. Granted, you still take and see, but with my commentary critiquing as, as often as I take and stop these videos to take and give my give my commentary, taking you know the laughing moments and then stop and take and give what I think about what I've just heard and stuff like that. That changes, that transforms the original the, the way that that video is supposed to be transformed. So it's no longer it's no longer the same video. 
so I'm meeting the, the I'm meeting the fair use standard in that way. For those who don't understand, for those who kind of have, oh well, you're not doing anything. Burr, 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 burr. You're just no. There's there's stuff that like this stuff is allowed for under fair use. The gray area is is it for educational or commercial purposes? For commercial purposes, like you've got to have a pretty good amount of like commentary, the laughter, the Hey, you know, this, that, and the other, the correlations and stuff like that that are given this stuff. Got my skits right here. Got the, uh, <laughs> my segments that went over <laughs> for some folks like a ton of bricks. <laughs> um, but all the, like, copyright claim, and I'm going to show y'all. Yeah, like copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim don't even I didn't even try for that one copyright claim like here in the last month or so I've been able to take and there's a lot more stuff that's because I've Daniel Sloss see this is what I got the uh this Daniel Sloss swearing is what I got the strike on I even took and give a heads up to Midwest Americans I said hey I said watch out for that video so that's one I got my most recent strike on this right here is the reason why I've added so much other stuff. You've got as a as a reaction channel, you've got the you've got the built-in inherent danger to your channel at all times because YouTube not only is the application of fair use not applied evenly across content creators on the platform, but it's not also upheld whenever you meet the the fair use standards, it's also not upheld by YouTube against the copyright claimers. Because then they're like, well, they can take it to court. But us content creators don't have the money for that. Like, unless you're H3, H3 Productions, or another bigger YouTube channel who's had copyright stuff that's went to court, you don't have the money to take and fight stuff like that. So for all intents and purposes, you're at the whims of these these content, uh, these copyright holders. Uh, here recently, I've had a lot more luck as far as fighting the copyright claims, but that's also a double-edged sword because I can get a claim to go through in six months. They can come back to like, now nah, we're going to strike it now. Like, Afterworks uh, Reactions has had that issue. Me and him talked about that in our interview. So this is just some of, like, the stuff that, and I know it, it, you see a lot of stuff like, oh, he's able to monetize quite a bit. But you're not, like, there's also a lot of stuff that I fight against that constantly puts the channel at risk. Like, constantly. So, um, this is the reason why, it's also part of the reason why, as much as I enjoy doing reactions, it can kind of burn you out because all the fighting that you do. So that's one of the reasons why it's, there's there's some days here, like yesterday, I took and did my put the reaction out early, and then I took and did my gaming streams. And I know there's those of for anybody who watches this channel does not like the gaming streams, don't watch them. I got content that comes out every day, just don't watch them. I mean, nobody's putting a gun to your head. Simple as that. It just you know, if you don't like that, cool. I've got two years worth of content that you could go back through if you'd like. See, this is another one. Al Murray, this one was blocked. Al Murray does, uh, what is this? It's a festival. Colonoscopy. Yeah, see, there, there's a lot of stuff that, that's claimed. Tommy Cooper. Copyright claim off, off. Like, there's a lot of stuff that just... And so, I am able, I, there is a good bit that I have been able to monetize, but there's also just fighting the copyright claims. Um, like, if I had to take and do skits and take and work bits and pieces of stuff into skits and stuff like that, even the, even the Queen one, it was blocked. I had to take and cut the clip that I used of Queen down. They didn't see it as they didn't they didn't agree with my assessment of the fair use since I was using it as an example within it so but yeah if you don't like the game and like don't 
you, you don't you don't have to watch it, man. Same thing with the skits. You don't got or the segments. You don't have to watch it. Like I've got plenty of content on my channel, and that's one of the reasons why I kind of opened up things too. It gives me it gives me license on my channel, and that and this is the part that sucks because I've started taking doing gaming and I've added skits and stuff like that. Part of the things that sucks is it kind of messes with the algorithm. So it's going to stunt the growth of the channel, which I'm fine with. I'm, I'm happy you're taking to doing whatever the hell I want. So if I want to do a reaction and put up reactions every day, cool. If I want to take and do gaming for a week, cool. I've got the license to do so. I, I enjoy doing that. I'm not going to get the same views on some of these things. and I already have that baked in when I do it. But it gives me pivot points. And this is the reason why I have to have pivot points. Everything I've showed you is the reason why I have to have pivot points. Um, there's a lot of stuff that y'all have asked me to react to that... There's a lot of stuff y'all have asked me to react to that... I've went and actually... Went to... I, I've... Because don't get it twisted. Before I do anything on this channel... I take and search it on YouTube. So... Like y'all... Y'all ask for... the. You need to take a watch Snatch. So, Snatch movie reaction. Reaction to Snatch. Like, this is stuff I search before I take and do it. And if I see other channels have done it, I'm like, alright, cool. That means that I'm able to, you know, I'll be able to take and react to this stuff. Um, the Snatch reaction, it got blocked. I disputed it. It got released, thankfully. But, there's, there's a lot of this stuff that I see other channels are doing and I've tried doing and it gets it just it gets blocked straight up so and that's one of the that's one of the aggravating things about the copyright stuff is the fact that um, it's unevenly applied the blocks are unevenly applied across the platform and I don't understand the reason for that I don't understand why it is that some channels are able to take and do stuff and other channels aren't like, there's a lot of stuff also that I've reacted to that because I've seen somebody uh, recommend it in the comments and it's not up and I'm the only person that's done it, which is cool as hell. But it also gives a template for somebody else behind me to take and do, which is needful because there's a whole lot of stuff and there's a whole lot of personalities that take and do reactions, that take and do the American Reacts types of reactions and stuff like that, where you take and get to see an individual's their own unique viewpoint on what they're seeing because we've all got different experiences and i think that's one of the beautiful things about uh reactions because what my reaction is isn't the same as um what midwest americans reaction or is jps or um jt reacts or ashley's review or favor or anybody like that all of our viewpoints are going to be different in some way and i think it's a beautiful thing but i also think that's one of the things with reactions that kind of Reactions take and affect people on two different levels. I think. I think it it affects them at the at the level of relatability. You see somebody watching something that you've watched that you enjoy, and you can relate to that because you see them taking a given. You know, do you see them watching it? That's the first level. So not only do you take and get, not only are you seeing somebody seeing something for the first time that you've seen that you've enjoyed, but then if they like it. Well, then that's even more relatability because you're like, oh, because you're. It's like a lot of folks have said in the in the commentary in the comments. It's fun taking and watching somebody enjoy something for the first time that I took and enjoyed, at whatever age. So then it hits you at the emotional and you know, intellectual level. I think because then if they enjoy it, especially. Well, you've got that relatability because, oh, they're seeing something, but then you've got the, I identify with that person because I had the same feeling. If they dislike it, well, that goes in a totally different direction because then you're like, I want to see what else they've watched. You know, oh, their, their, their opinion is rubbish. I want to see what else they've watched, you know, that I, that I've seen and see what their opinion is. So with the reaction with reaction channels i think it's a lot more than what people are what a lot more than what people kind of give it credit for because 
number one, we're taking and, and we're watching stuff that a lot of folks have watched for the, uh, you know, their entire lives. We're seeing it for the first time. It gets it immediately makes us relatable. It immediately makes us, um, it, it almost a sense of familiarity if that makes any sense. Especially if we enjoy what we're seeing. So then, somebody is more likely to actually sit down and go, "All right, well, let me see what this cat's about. Let me see what else he's got." And then you take and watch a couple more videos, and we've got a similar re reaction. We take and give our own thoughts. Which might be different from yours, which gives might give you know which I've I've seen people take a comment. That gives me a different viewpoint, and I've you know grew up watching this and stuff like that. Or it's interesting to take and see your see your viewpoint on this. So reactions hit on multiple different levels at the at the mental I, I say mental, but the, at the intellectual and I think emotional level because we're we're viewing stuff. As an American watching stuff, uh, whether it be British history, you know, UK history, culture, you know, language, comedy, the TV shows, we don't have access to the same stuff over here. All these shows I'm watching, I, they don't show this on, they don't show that on TV over here, and we don't, we've we've got TV shows that are seen as classics over here, but. Is nowhere close to the amount of uh, quality, in my opinion, as what y'all grew up on. Just from watching what I've watched. And it, granted, there's also stuff that a lot of times I think folks don't quite understand. There are stuff that's cultural that's going to kind of escape us. But that's where the the viewpoint comes in. Because we're ignorant of it, and that's where also the viewers take and come in. That's that's what helps our learning too. Because we, you know, there's been stuff. Hey, you got this wrong, blah, 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 and you take and go look more into it. And you're like, holy crap, you know. And, and that for me, that's one of the things I love about doing these reactions, and that's one of the things that I. That's one of the reasons why I hate taking and having to put anything on daily motion. That's one of the reasons why I hate that I feel like I've had to take and put put up stuff. For a pivot point because as much as I love doing this I know there might come a time where I have to have something to pivot uh, something else to pivot to um, but these, these copyright claims luckily with the way I've been doing them here lately I haven't really had so many problems with them as you see a lot of the stuff is from like November you know, it, it, or a lot of it's from last year. A lot of it's from last year or months previous where it's stuff that's, it, it's, it's aggravating. God, it is so satisfying doing this stuff and taking a reading y'all's personal anecdotes, taking a reading y'all's comments on history. And I've gotten comments on history on stuff, three, four different perspectives. Or people, oh, that's, that's bollocks. And it's like, well... You know, it, it's it's cool to see that kind of stuff, though, because here the vitriol is so intense with a lot of stuff that we take and see and we consume and the arguments within the commentary to take and see, oh, that's bollocks, and then take and give a counter viewpoint and take and see another a viewpoint taken and given. I've seen, you know, there's some vitriol and stuff like that that I've, I've read my comment section that's like, Wow, that didn't have to go in that direction. But the other thing is, too, just some backstory. In January, this channel had 1,300 subs. At the beginning of January, I had 1,300 subs. At the point that I had 1,300 subs, I was doing more gaming videos and streams than I was taking and putting out reactions. Because same time last year, I was fighting this stuff same way um even more so because i had copyright strike that had just been that was fresh everything was getting blocked or claimed like it was just it was frustrating so i went i started doing gaming change it from uh collected beard reactions to collected beard reactions and uh gaming and reactions and started adding a lot more gaming i was doing gaming streams um a lot more 
Um, there was days where instead of having reactions, you'd have two gaming videos. I was putting out two, three videos a day on like on a daily. Um, with these long form reactions like I've been doing here lately, it doesn't make a whole lot of sense to take and put out two, three reactions. Number one, I've got kids that don't want to take and listen or sit still or quite long enough if they're awake. So that also kind of necessitates the ability to get, to, get it done, get it edited, get it put up. So you got that. You'll see with this, with the way that the editing is done, like, oh my God. So, but I took and reacted to Al Murray. Then I was like, you know, with all these different accents, these rappers that I've taken a look at, or the, yeah, these, these, uh, these rappers that I've been uh, reacting to, all the different accents. And I looked at accent video two different accent videos and then i went back to taking doing uh grime reactions and i happened to notice that two of the videos had blown up and i was like well you know and people that took and give me suggestions for more comedians and for more culture to look at so that's kind of what put me on the path that you've seen that most of you that have took and come on the channel have seen. I went from 1,000 to 10,000 within a month. I went from 10,000 to 23,000 a month. I went from 23,000 to almost 40,000 a month. Uh, the, the month after, went from 40,000 to 50,000 to 50 to 60, and then 60 to 70 was slower. 70 to 80 is going to be a lot slower, which I'm cool with. I'm cool with. As some at, here here in the next couple weeks, see she won't be quiet. Here in the next couple of days. Um, Next couple of weeks, I should say, I'm gonna be taking and working back in more culture stuff to take and go along with uh, buttress against these um, these full episode reactions to shows that y'all have you know introduced me to. Um, so that way, because I I enjoy looking at the culture too, because there's still so much that I don't understand. Like I know I I do want to I'm gonna take a look at some of y'all's Christmas traditions over there. Because y'all got different traditions over there historically that are still taken and done in some some parts over there that we don't have. Like I I know that that kind of stuff fascinates me. So I hope y'all have enjoyed this. I hope y'all get a little bit more understanding of kind of what. Granted, this isn't. A, I'm not trying to make this a, a, the, a woe is me on the copyright claim. This is stuff I know. I knew going into you know i've known for a while now it's just i think every so often uh taking and at least showing y'all behind the scenes of what i've got to take and deal with sometimes because i, I get the frustration from some of y'all i really do because i'm the one taking and putting the videos so i i do get the frustration from some of y'all that have taken and express stuff on here about copyright and stuff like that oh well so and so can do it, it like I said, there's uneven application, but I think taking and showing y'all behind the scenes. So I, I've always strived to be a very transparent channel. Um, it it kind of has led to holding on to a little bit too much of the small channel mentality. Like I've only got a thousand subs, so you know there'd be a comment that's nasty that I reply to with snark <laughs> galore <laughs> that I, I've got to stop doing. Um, it's just because I still see myself as having that thousand, fifteen hundred, two thousand subs. You know, it, it's, it, it, I think that's one of the things that's helped me take and build the community that I've got. Cause I love y'all to death. I think it's one of the things that helped me, that's helped me build the community that I've got. Um, as far as reaching out and talking to as many people as I'd like to, um, used to, I was on, uh, I was on Instagram every day answering messages from folks. I still don't have the time for it no more. Unfortunately, I wish I did. Like, I wish I did. Like there's, there's two rappers or three rappers who have put out music that I haven't been able to take and get to just because the morphing of the channel, I'll still take and see how they're doing every so often. But it's just one of, one of the things, the growing pains with the channel. Um, I'm, I'm blessed in that, in that way. It's one of the things, the trade-offs, it sucks in one sense, but the, the trade-off of it is also kind of cool. Um, it, it sucks because you kind of lose that feeling like you're a small channel, but at the same time you, you get to see the fruits. You're able to take and see a lot more. You're able to learn a lot more. You're able to take in, um, a really 
I try as much as possible to go through my comments still at heart. Every comment, even if I can't respond to you. The trade-off on taking getting uh, from going to where you feel like you're a small YouTuber to getting to the point where it's harder and harder. As much as I, I don't like not being able to take and respond to folks, I love still, I think my comment section is my, my favorite part about having a YouTube uh, channel because I learn so much about an individual, about the country, about y'all's traditions, just about y'all in general. So this is some of what I have to take and deal with. Um, it's a lot fewer copyright claims if I were to take y'all to, and there's a lot of stuff I'm looking through real quick, and there's a lot of stuff I deleted because of claims and blocks and stuff. Like, because I was trying to put up, I was putting up three videos a day, and there's gaps, <laughs> big gaps due to the copyright claims and stuff like that. July 28th, July 29th, or July 9th, July 13th, July 31st, and there was stuff throughout the whole thing, and it was block copyright claim. Block, or block copyright claim, copyright claim, copyright claim, block copyright claim. So there's a lot of stuff from last year that just, like, y'all seen the copyright claims, y'all seen some blocks. Luckily, I have, due to taking adding more commentary, so just wanted to take and show y'all a little bit behind the scenes. What I what I take and um, deal with as far as from the different companies and stuff like that, um, yes, there is quite a bit. I'm able to take and either uh, monetize, um, but y'all also seen there's 24 and that was because and that's the 24 is only because last week i took and cleared off 41 copyright claims so or from that little notification center so um i hope you at least take and see now okay so you know this is kind of what's what's what goes on behind the scenes and i'm not the only one the rest of the rest of reactors that you watch i don't care if it's music i don't care if it's movies I don't care if it's TV. I don't. Care, I don't care what it is, unless they're reacting to TikToks and, and even the scary story stuff. Unless they're reacting like TikTok, uh, TikTok type stuff. If as long as the TikToks haven't been picked up by somebody like Jukin Media or another um, licensing company, they deal with the same type of stuff. Um, so pretty much all the reactors that you'll take and see on YouTube, we take and deal with all this. Every one of us. Um, they're the channels I started that, that got me into wanting to react. Other than no, other than no life shack, the rest of them, Matthews fam, um, to sushi, all of them. They've either taken breaks or they've completely changed their content from what they react to. And I like the culture so much. I like the um, music part so much that if anything i would take and if i if i felt like i had to i would take and go back to reacting to music but at this point um i've given myself the pivot points with the skits with the vlogs with the gaming um and yeah so which hey there's worse stuff you could watch right um just wanted to take and give y'all a bit behind the scenes. Just know, I appreciate each and every one of y'all. I really, really do. Even if I'm not able to take and give a comment, or if it takes a little bit to get a heart on your comment, or if I unfortunately wind up missing your comment altogether, I appreciate you. I, pre I appreciate you taking and coming to the channel, giving, taking time out of your day to sit and watch my goofy behind give my commentary on something that you grew up watching. Or something that might interest you. Thank you so very much. Because um, you, you could have actually watched the TV show. Or you could have watched something else that's on YouTube. And you give me that time. And time's the most precious commodity um, that we've got as humans. So, y'all be good to each other. Love yourselves. Peace.